gets fitted in the next few days. I have to cut the hole out and my stop is all over the place. So the easier setup for me was to sit on my sofa and prop my camera and ring light up and record this way and hold the mic, hence the uh, close up whisper. So hopefully you, uh, you enjoy the uh, slightly closer up. Super quick reminder, this is your last uh, chance to get your questions in for the Q&A. So there should be a uh, community post, I said in the previous video as well. Leave your comments on either this video, the post, or the previous video, and I will see them. And I will answer them. Or at least that's the plan. And, uh, members will have priority, as I've said in uh, the members exclusive videos and members community poll. Uh, based. Um, but I will try and answer everybody's questions, so last chance to um, ask me whatever burning questions uh, are on your mind. But that's it. Let's get on with the video. Today we have another conspiracy theories video. It is a conspiracy theories video, but one in which we take a look at Dale's legends, myth surrounding a particular beast or creature, so to speak, a cryptid, if you will. And today is a big one, if you sort of pardon the semi-pun, uh, Bigfoot or the Sasquatch, uh, depending on where you're from. I can't believe I've, it, after, after all the uh, cryptids that we've done, it's taken me this long to get to Bigfoot, he's like the if you will. But, uh, yeah, uh, before I sprout any more nonsense, let's get on with the video. So, Bigfoot or Sasquatch. It's a giant ape-like creature that some people believe roams North America. It is a cryptid or species rumoured to exist, just like the Chupacabra or Loch Ness Monster. Chupacabra video will be coming soon. There's scant physical evidence to suggest Bigfoot is actually alpha, but that doesn't stop alleged sightings of the ape that never shows its face or Bigfoot buffs from trying to prove there's life in their legend. Most Bigfoot sightings occur in the northwest, where the creature can be linked to indigenous myths and legends. Sasquatch is derived from Sasket, a word from the, pardon my pronunciation, Alkemilem, Al language used by some Salish First Nations peoples in southwestern British Columbia, according to the Oregon Encyclopedia. It means wild man or hairy man. As early as 18. The British colonist newspaper in Victoria, Canada, published an account of a gorilla-type creature captured in the area. Other accounts largely uh, decried as hoaxes followed. Sasquatch book author John Green compiled a list of 1,340 sightings through the 19th and 20th centuries. But the modern big fertile Sasquatch myth gave new life in the late 1950s. In 1958, the Humboldt Times, a local newspaper in North uh, California, published a story about the discovery of a giant, mysterious footprint near Bluff Creek, California. In the story, they refer to the creature that made them as Bigfoot, according to Smithsonian Magazine. Bigfoot curiosity grew rapidly during the second half of the 20th century, after an article in Dream Magazine, published in December 1959, described the 1958 discovery. The footprints near Bluff Creek 
legend of an ape like men decades before Wallace's footprints helped to make Bigfoot a phenomenon. There are also 21st century examples of Bigfoot hoaxes. In 2008, two men from Georgia claimed to have a complete frozen Bigfoot specimen that they found on a hike. Their Bigfoot turned out to be a gorilla costume, Reuters reported in 2008. Justin Humphrey, an Oklahoma lawmaker, proposed creating a Bigfoot hunting season in January 2021. Humphrey suggested that the hunting season could coincide with an annual Bigfoot festival that takes place in Anobia, Oklahoma, and would help to bring more tourists to the area. Oklahoma Tourism officials later announced a $2.1 million bounty in March for the capture of a live Bigfoot. Now we move on to the real Bigfoot. Scientific evidence for the existence of a modern day Bigfoot may be proving elusive, but a giant bipedal ape did once walk the earth. A species named Strapin Gigantic Pithecus Blackie was about 10 feet tall and weighed 270 kilograms or 595 pounds based on fossil evidence. However, Gigantopithecus lived in Southeast Asia, not North America, and went extinct hundreds of thousands of years ago. Extinct ape is also more closely related to modern orangutans than to humans or our closest relatives, chimpanzees and bonobos, life science reported. So, that is backstory, semi deep dive into Bigfoot. Now, let's, let's really look at the fun stuff. Let's take a little look at the most iconic or maybe most compelling so-called evidence of the existence of Bigfoot. Okay, first up, we have the William Rowe encounter in 1955. One of the most famous Bigfoot sightings allegedly occurred in Mika Mountain in British Columbia in 1955, when a man called William Rowe claimed he saw a barley human and barley animal creature while hiking. He swore an affidavit in 1957 that the creature was about six feet tall and covered in brown silver dipped hair with thick arms reaching down to its knees broad feet and breasts interesting the Albert Osman abduction in 1924 prospector Albert Osman claimed that he spent around a week with a Bigfoot family near Toba Inlet, British Columbia, 1924. Osman was camping alone when he says he was scooped up in his sleeping bag by a Papa Bigfoot and taken to meet Mama Bigfoot and two Bigfoot children. Osman was supposedly held captive by the family, but said he eventually escaped when Papa Bigfoot ate Osman's chewing tobacco and fell ill. According to the retelling of the story in anthropologist David Daigling's book, Bigfoot Exposed. Osman's descriptions of his captors are similar to that of Rose's 1957 account. However, Daigling points out in his book that even though Osman said the encounter took place in 1924, he didn't write it down until 1957, after he heard Rose Dale. So he may have been inspired or influenced by Rowe. So, next we have the Patterson-Gimlin film, 1967, which is definitely in the thumbnail, and is uh, definitely probably the most famous Bigfoot sighting. Oh, sighting. Caught on camera. The, uh, this is a minute-long video that appears to show a female Bigfoot, later nicknamed Patty. Walking through a clearing in Northern Carolina, California, sorry, North Carolina, California. I keep getting those mixed up. The film is still often held up by 
by Bigfoot believers as the best piece of evidence for the creature's existence. The scientific community has overwhelmingly dismissed the film as showing a person wearing a costume. How boring.
Yes, doing close-up whispering. Great, but this setup is terrible. My back kills. <laughs> From uh, setting up, trying to set up straight. I need to sort it out. And we will, within the next two to three weeks. But anyways, let me know. The big old question to end the video. Do you think my stomach will ever not make noises. Seriously. <laughs> no. Do you think Bigfoot is real? Let me know in the comments down below. I personally think if people think they've seen it, they've just seen a bear. But, you know, I'm not gonna knock it because, just because I've never had an experience myself. But let me know in the comments and remember to leave questions for the Q&A. This is your last chance. Not that it's, you know, that big a deal, but, you know, you can ask me a question that's been, oh my gosh, like, do I have IBS? Why is my stomach doing this? It, it, it's definitely time to end the video. Guys, thank you so much for watching, and I apologise if this has been a very unprofessional ASMR video, but hopefully you found it informative, entertaining, and relaxing, as always. If you're able to, and you enjoyed the video, then please give